pot pie anymore, we were pretty much devastated because that was one of our favorite things for dinner. So I had to figure out a way to make a pot pie that was gluten free. And today I have a real good recipe I want to show you. It's simple to make and it's very healthy. It um, has quite a few ingredients in it, but if you just sing with me here, we can get through it. It won't take that long and it's really worth the wait because it comes out amazingly good. All right, so what we're going to do is I'll show you what's on the stove cooking as far as vegetables go. And we'll come back to the rest of the ingredients that we're going to be using. On our stove top, we're sauteing up our onions, some peppers, some spinach. I other pot here on my stove. I have some peas and carrots that had previously been frozen. Just add a little bit of water to chill off of them so that um, they're ready to go when we add them to our hot pie because we don't want them frozen. If they're frozen, it, the water's going to expand and then our dough may not bake right. If you have a bag of peas and carrots that's microwavable, you're welcome to use it. I don't tend to like to use any plastic in my microwave, but that's just me. All right, we're back to this island and we're going to go over the other ingredients we'll need for this recipe. We have some pan that we're going to spray in our nonstick baking dish. And this is a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. Mushroom soup has gluten. What I've done is we have two cups of fresh homemade potato soup here. One cup diced up potatoes that I've cooked and those are ready to go. We're also going to be using some Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon. A teaspoon of our thyme, which I have here. This is a fresh thyme. A half a teaspoon of rosemary here. Paprika, just a little dash of that when we get to it at the end. We also need parsley. Okay, and we're also going to garnish with some fresh parsley, and this is parsley that we grew outside. Well, actually it grew on its own outside. We just collected it. And we'll be using about a teaspoon of parsley to garnish at the end. These are the ingredients we'll be using to combine with our veggies, which we're going to do first. And then phase two will be making our gluten-free dough that's going to go on top of our veggies. You can also use just a gluten-free pie crust here if you'd like. Of course, that probably takes just as much time as what I'm going to show you. The second phase to baking our gluten-free pot pie is the batter. We have ingredients that will go over here. We have two eggs, a cup of rice flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Back here we have one and a half tablespoons of potato flour, two tablespoons of butter, which we're going to melt up, one and a half cups of milk, and one little bay leaf that belongs over here on the other side. That's not going to go in our batter. We go in our veggies. We'll go back and get our veggies for them over to our dish. Over they go. In this skillet, we have our sauteed up onions, our peppers, and our spinach. Right on top of these veggies, we're going to add some more veggies. Go with our potatoes now. Just want to spread them out there. Mmm, smells really good. Show you a little closer there what we're creating. And we'll add in our peas and carrots. You can never get enough peas and carrots. Okay, next up is our soup. We have two cups of potato soup. What we're going to do is add in our Worcestershire sauce right into this measuring cup with our soup. As soon as I get a spoon. That's one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And it goes. Our rosemary. Crinkle that up. Our thyme. Mmm, that smells really woody and really good. Mmm. This guy's combined up real good. There's our potatoes also. We have a little more potatoes than what we thought we had. In addition to the one cup. And then this potato soup, there is a few pieces of ham. It's looking good. Now I didn't talk about salt, but I think we gotta add a little salt on here while we're at it. Which I'm doing. And then right in the middle, we're gonna add a bay leaf. There. I'll get some pepper while I'm at it. Way up high, there it is. Pretty intense spice cabinet I have here, as you can see. There goes the pepper. All right, next up is our batter. All right, here we go. We have all of our veggies right in our baking casserole dish here. Our spices and everything we need right in this dish to make our gluten-free pot pie. We'll come on over and I'll show you how this is done.
Okay, we have our mixing bowl here. I, this isn't the prettiest bowl you've ever saw, but it's a Tupperware bowl and I love it. It works really well. I've had it a long time. Actually, I own a couple of these. If you're in need of a mixing bowl, I recommend Tupperware. They're great. Uh, this is probably about eight years old. That looks good to me. So here we go. We're going to add in one and a half cups of our milk. If you need to use some other, something other than milk, you can. Almond milk, rice milk, whatever it is. And we got to melt these two tablespoons of butter. Melt our butter for about 12 seconds. Look, very nice, perfect. 12 seconds is a good time to melt two tablespoons of butter. I've got my stove on 400 degrees and it's preheating. I think those are two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to pop in our two eggs. So if you do it just right, you're not going to need two bowls. You can just work out of this. I'm going to kind of push them down because they don't always want to stir up for you. What we're going to do next is get another bowl of dry ingredients so that we can blend those well. In goes our cup of rice flour. Our one and a half tablespoons of our potato flour, our baking soda, baking powder, and our salt. All three of those. And now we'll just blend real good. Making some noise. I always like to keep my work area clean. More work to do than I should have had. In goes the flour. We're going to stir. If you're not on a gluten free diet, you can just use regular flour for this recipe. Oh, look at that, that's thickening up really nice. I'm going to saturate everything here. Make sure you get everything. Stove's preheating to 400 degrees. I'm going to spread our batter around just like this. Wow, that looks yummy. And top it off with a little paprika. Paprika is good for everything, I think. Uh oh, use my other hand. Fresh homegrown parsley. Get it even there. Okay, we're gonna head on over to the oven. And it goes. 400 degrees for 30 minutes, and I'll see you back here. Okay, here we have it. Our gluten-free pot pie is done. And as you can tell, it's actually a sheet cake, but um, anyhow, we'll taste and see how it is. Wow, it kind of looks like corn bread. I should bring you closer before I mess it up. There it is. Doesn't that look yummy? The corner will be fine. Here we go. We did have quite a bit of liquid with our soup that we used, but it looks like it's all soaked up just the way we want it. Wow, this looks really healthy. I'm going to try it out here. This is pretty much vegeta a vegetarian pot pie. I don't have chicken in it or anything like that. There are a couple pieces of ham in it that are basically from the potato soup that I made earlier so that I had a gluten-free soup to put in this pot pie so that I could even make it. Normally, as you know, mushroom soup, ch chicken soup, any of the soups pretty much have wheat. Making chicken pot pie is not that simple to do when you're a gluten-free diet unless you can find a gluten-free soup to use, which I don't live near Whole Foods, so um, it's almost impossible for me to find one right now, but I'm sure soon there'll be plenty of gluten-free stuff going on at the regular stores. Giant Eagle, where I live, we have a Giant Eagle. They do carry gluten-free products, but I haven't actually set out to look for soup there, actually. I'll have to give that a try. That'll make my life a little easier when I make this next time. Okay, here we go. A big hump of spinach. Probably pretty good for if you're on a diet. Have some gluten-free Popeye. Mm. Mm. 
Taste a little bit of all the vegetables. You can taste the fresh thyme that's in here, the paprika, the parsley. Gosh, there's a whole pile of stuff going on in here. Oh, and don't forget the bay leaf. <laughs> mm. It's really healthy and really good. Mm. Right now I'm going to be doing really good if I can get my 14 year old to eat this. He really does eat healthy, but this is really, really extremely healthy, so we'll see. But I have a feeling he's going to eat it. So I'll let you know when um, we finish having our meal if he ate it or not. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this really, really healthy gluten-free pot pie. I'll see you next time.